Good morning, Common family and friends everywhere. Good morning. Welcome to this morning's Sunday School lesson under the guidance of our pastor, Reverend Dr. Jesse T. Williams, Jr., our Minister of Christian Education, Reverend Dr. Charlene Faison, our Sunday School Superintendent, Brother Ronald Smith, and our Deacon Supervisors, Deacon Willa Tolson, Deacon Nelson Broswell. Our lesson will be brought to you by Deacon Timothy Chadwick and Deacon Willard Tolson. Let us pray. O oh, gracious, merciful, and loving Father, we truly thank you for the blessings of this day. We pray, Father, that you will be with us throughout this lesson. Cover us and guide us, O oh, Heavenly Father, that all we do will be in keeping with your blessed will and plan. Yes. Cover us, O oh, Heavenly Father, and help us, O oh, Heavenly Father, to be of service to you mm -hmm. mightily, O oh, Heavenly Father, and gloriously. Yes. And O oh, Heavenly Father, all that we do, we do it in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, in whose name we pray. Amen. Amen. Our lesson today is glorifying God. Mm -hmm. It's taken from Mark chapter 10, verses 46 to 52, and any other scriptures that we may add to it. We will compare spiritual and physical blindness appreciate how God is attentive and responds to our needs, yeah. and practice reaching out to those who are marginalized by society. Mm -hmm. The entire chapter of Mark 10 finds Jesus moving towards Jerusalem, towards Jerusalem. leaving Galilee. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> he journeyed south through Samaria. Yes and east over the Jordan into the Perean region of Judea. Mm -hmm. Here Jesus reopens his public ministry. Yes. And the Pharisees reopen their public attack. Public attack. Let us look at some of the questions those who are spiritually blind, including the disciples, Ask Jesus, mm -hmm. and the answer <clears throat> Jesus gives. Amen. We will look at several verses in our chapter 10, mm -hmm. which is not included in your lesson material. Verse 2, for example, says, It is lawful for a man to divorce his wife, testing Jesus like Satan's attack in the wilderness. Even the disciples are blind to this question. Jesus says, man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. Yes. What God has joined together, mm -hmm. let not man divide. That's right. Verse 13 in our chapter shows us where the parents are bringing their children to Jesus yes. so that he might touch them. Mm -hmm. The disciples are blind to the trust and love of the little children. Yes. Because Jesus says, you must receive the kingdom of God as a little child. As a child. Which shows trust and love. Mm-hmm. I had a memory of that one day while I was sitting on a park bench across from my apartment. Mm -hmm. I was sitting there reading a magazine, and on the bench there was nothing next to me, no one next to me, and I was sitting there reading, and all of a sudden this little boy, real small, came right to the front of where I was sitting mm -hmm. and sat right down in front of me on the pavement. <laughs> he sat there, took off his shoe, and he emptied a pebble that had dropped in it. <laughs> I asked him, <clears throat> how old are you? And he put up three fingers. Mm -hmm. So I gathered he was three years old. 
He put his shoe back on and disappeared. Amen. That demonstrated to me the love and trust that God was talking about. Mm -hmm. Because this young boy didn't know me, mm -hmm. and I did not know him. We had never met before. And for him to come and sit right down in front of me and take off his shoe without any question of doubt about whether he was safe or not. Amen. That showed the trust that children demonstrate. Mm -hmm. And this is what Jesus says that we should have as well, the same type of trust. Who do we trust? We trust God. Trust God. We trust Jesus. Trust Jesus. And we trust our spiritual leaders. Trust our That's leaders. That's what a trust. Mm -hmm. And most of all, you trust your Bible. Trust your Bible. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Now, verse 17 in chapter 10 asks, what must I do that I may inherit eternal life? Yes. Jesus says, one thing you lack, go your way, sell whatever you have, and give to the poor. Give it. And come, follow me. Sell it. Blind disciples stated, we have left all and followed you. Mm -hmm. Jesus says to them, there is no one who has left house, house. Brothers, brothers, sisters, sisters father, father or mother mm -hmm. or wife mm -hmm. or children or lands mm -hmm. for my sake and the gospels mm -hmm. who shall not receive a hundredfold, a hundredfold. Now in this time, in this time, and in the ages to come, Amen. Eternal life. Mm -hmm. That's what Jesus promised us. Yes, sir. eternal life. Verse thirty-two, still in our chapter, mm -hmm. Jesus says, "The Son of Man will be delivered to the chief priests, yes, and to the scribes, and they will condemn him to death, yes." and deliver him to the Gentiles. Mm -hmm. Luke chapter 18, verse 34 says, and they understood none of these things. Mm -hmm. This saying was hidden from them, and they did not know the things which were spoken. Yes. Remember when Peter said, when Jesus told him that he would die, Jesus said, no, 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 no way. You're not gonna die, mm -hmm. okay? I'll protect you to the end, forever. That's what Peter's saying. Mm -hmm. James McGregor Burns, an American historian yes. and political scientist, mm -hmm. he first introduced the concept of transforming leadership yes. and his description on political leaders. Mm -hmm. He divides leaders into two types. Two types. Transformational leaders mm -hmm. and transactional leaders. Transactional. A transformational leader mm -hmm. has an all-consuming vision. Yes. To which he calls his followers. Vision. And a charismatic personality. Charismatic. By which he leads them. Mm -hmm. On the road to Jerusalem and towards the crisis of the cross. Yes. Jesus walks ahead mm -hmm. and alone in the position of a transformational leader. Transformational leader. Nothing mm -hmm. can turn his head from his purpose. Yes. Verse 37, still in chapter 10, mm -hmm. it is asked, grant us that we may sit, one on your right hand mm -hmm. and the other on your left. Yes. In your glory, mm -hmm. blind disciples yes. show lust for greatness. Mm -hmm. Each wants to protect his legacy of power yes. and position in an earthly kingdom. Mm -hmm. Jesus does not deny the standard of rank as measure of greatness in the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. He bases the positioning, however, on the participation of the disciples in sharing the cup of his suffering. Share the cup. And being submerged 
in the baptism of his death. Mm -hmm. For if we died with him, yes. we shall also live with him. Live with him. If we endure, mm -hmm. we shall also reign with him. Yes. That's taken from 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 11 mm -hmm. and 12. Jesus also leaves the prerogative for positioning to God, yes. the Father. Now, we will look at verse 46 of our lesson. Yes. And they came to Jericho. And as he went out of Jericho with his disciples and a great number of people, blind, Bartimaeus, mm -hmm. the son of Timaeus, sat by the highway begging. Mm -hmm. A great multitude, a large crowd. Yes. Many people together in a festival atmosphere and the air filled with the tingle of triumph. Yes. The news that the young rabbi who has challenged the religious establishment of the Jews is on his way to Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Would create its own excitement. Excitement. Just being realized of that part mm -hmm. was, a, was the excitement in itself. Yes. A Jewish rabbi who has challenged the Pharisees, the scribes, and even some of the rabbis, they were anxious. Why? Yes. Because of the promise of a confrontation. Yes. Always draws a crowd. Confrontation. We all realize that. Sometimes we see people running to a crowd. We want to see what's going on. That's right. We ask, what happened? Oh, so-and-so is coming down. Mm -hmm. You know, a celebrity may be on its way. That's right. And everybody runs just to go see that celebrity. Mm -hmm. That's the same thing when, when we were talking about the parents taking their children out to meet Jesus. Mm-hmm. They do that when they see celebrities. They do that when they see politicians and that a, are running for office. And a good fight. Take the child up there <laughs> so that the, the candidate can pick them up, give them a hug, all that sort of thing. All right, Deacon. You know how us parents can do, right? Mm -hmm. Verse 47 in our lesson, and when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, now that was power. Bartimaeus, mm -hmm. when he heard that it was Jesus mm -hmm. of Nazareth. Bartimaeus. You know, the crowd, they would say, it's Jesus of Nazareth. Mm -hmm. That's the way they would call him. Yes. So Bartimaeus heard that, and he began to cry out and say, Jesus! Jesus. Son of God, mm -hmm. have mercy on me. Have mercy. Bartimaeus was there begging for money. Mm-hmm. But when he heard that Jesus of Nazareth was with the crowd, yes. his expression and his feeling of hope swelled up in his body. All right. He had heard about this Jesus mm -hmm. who heals the sick. Heals the sick. And helpless. Helpless. We too, when we hear or read about Jesus. Yes. And have a strong need for his power. That's right. We're sick. And we need to call on Jesus call on him. for healing. Yes. We call Jesus, Jesus, Son of God, Son of David, Bright and Morning Star, mm -hmm. Lily of the Valley, mm -hmm. King of Kings, yes. Lord of Lords, yes. Jesus, Jesus, the Lamb of God, yes. our Savior, Jesus, Jesus, help me. Yes, blind Bartimaeus knew and believed in his healer. Yes. Help me, Jesus, help me, Jesus of Nazareth. Have mercy on me. Have mercy. Son of David. Mm -hmm. Verse 48 says, And many charged him that he should hold his peace. Be mm -hmm. quiet. Be still. Don't call out for Jesus. He's busy now. He's on his way into Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Be quiet. But he cried the more yeah. a great deal. Now, son of David, have mercy on me. Have mercy. Bartimaeus knew in his heart that Jesus, the Son of God, the Son of David, would have mercy on him mm -hmm. and give him sight 
So he would see and feel the power of God. Feel the power. He believed and his faith was propelled into the ear of his healer. Yes. Jesus, Jesus. the son of David, mm -hmm. the Messiah. Yes. Only him does Bartimaeus cry out to. Mm -hmm. Not anyone else mm -hmm. in the crowd. No Pharisee. That's right. No scribe. No scribe. No rabbi. Mm -hmm. Only Jesus. Jesus. Whom he has faith in. Mm -hmm. Son of David. Son of David. Help me. Help me. Now Deacon Chadwick will take us from verse 49. That was a powerful, powerful background, Deacon uh, Tulsa. You all right, bro. Praise God. <laughs> to God be the glory. Amen. In verse 49, it says, Jesus stopped. Or if you read the King James Version, I like his version better. It says, Jesus stood still. Praise God. Now, when I hear the phrase stood still, immediately what comes to mind is stand still and see the salvation oh, of the Lord. There you go. Amen. What was it in the words of Bartimaeus that caused Jesus to stand still? His boldness, his determination, his incessancy? This and much more, Deacon Tolson might say. So let us look at some of the less obvious but equally compelling possibilities of what caused Jesus to stand still. The name Bartimaeus is from the Greek, and it means honorable son. And there's a clue in his name, honorable son, that will shed some light onto the lesson. Common answers to the question, who is Bartimaeus? They will say, he was a blind man. He was the man Jesus healed. He was a poor beggar. He was the community beggar. He was the man on the street. If you wanted to know something about what was going on, old Bartimaeus may have gotten an ear and could tell you something. He was a community man. Everyone knew Bartimaeus. How do I surmise that because in his title it says bar Timaeus and bar means son of and Timaeus was his father which means honorable son if you remember Simon bar Jonah so if bar means son of who was Simon's father his name was Jonah. Oh, very good, Deacon Tulsa. Praise God. <laughs> but there was more to blind Bartimaeus than meets the eye. Bartimaeus, I would submit, was honorable, courageous, heroic, and faithful. He is, in my opinion, one of the unsung heroes in the Bible. Let's look a little closer at the text, the verses that will explain why I consider Bartimaeus heroic, courageous, faithful. Deacon Tolson read verse 46, and in that verse, the scripture reads, as Jesus went from Jericho with his disciples and a great number of people, blind Bartimaeus sat by the highway begging. Jericho is a city where a great battle took place. It's not hard to imagine the battle that raged in Jesus as he approached Jerusalem 
his betrayal and death. Think about it. As he left Jericho, Jerusalem was only an eight-hour journey by foot. And as he approached uh, Jerusalem, you can imagine how Jesus must have felt. You might not see it or agree with this statement, but Jesus, in his humanity, had some low moments in his life. Anxious moments, conflicting moments, moments of depression, great discomfort with the unending pressure of Calvary looming in the distance. Jesus knew what he came to do, what he had to do, and what he would do, but it doesn't mean he wanted to do it. Jesus did not want to die. And this makes the sacrifice a little more real for us, for we all want to live, we all want to live long if we could, long and healthy. So we understand the sacrifice from a different perspective. It's just not him on the cross, but you can see the sacrifice and the struggle on the way to the cross. It was along this tumultuous journey. The scripture says, Jesus heard the voice of Bartimaeus calling out to him, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. Amen. These nine small words uttered by blind Bartimaeus ranks among some of the most important utterances made in scripture. These nine words are just as relevant today as they were 2,000 years yes. ago. Amen. Countless souls have been saved by the truth embodied in these words. Jesus, have mercy on me. On me. Praise That's God. a short version. Praise God. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Praise God. If you have never asked Jesus to have mercy on you, now is the time. Wherever you are, <clears throat> whatever space you're in, whatever time and whatever mind you're in, now is a good time to say, Jesus, have, have mercy, mercy on me. On me. Amen. But what made Jesus stand still, you ask? Jesus may have, consider this, Jesus may have heard God's voice in the voice of Bartimaeus, encouraging, strengthening, and affirming his messianic purpose for the next leg of his journey. When Bartimaeus addressed Jesus as the son of David, he shows his faith in Jesus as Messiah and references one of God's promises in Genesis and in Jeremiah. Genesis 49.10, that the scepter will not depart from Judah, who, was an, ancestor, who was, the, was an ancestor of Jesus, until the coming of the Messiah to whom the scepter belongs. Jeremiah 23, 5 and 6 says it this way. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will raise unto David a righteous branch and a king shall reign and prosper, and shall execute judgment and justice 
in the world. In other words, when Bartimaeus addresses Jesus as the son of God or the son of David, he is affirming the word of God back to God personified. Yes. Amen. He's affirming the word of God back to the word personified, which is Jesus Christ. Let me find my place. Praise God. Y'all praying for me out there, right? Praise God. All right. Praise God. Go on, brother. And Jesus stood still, reminiscing or reminiscent of Moses telling the people to stand still and see. And Jesus commanded Bartimaeus, he commanded Bartimaeus to be called and his disciples called blind Bartimaeus and said, be of good comfort, rise, Jesus calls you. Praise God. Point number one, always call on the name of Jesus and ask him for mercy. Point number two, affirm the presence of God in others. We've, we, we're familiar with the verse uh, to uh, comfort yourself in the Lord, uh, to... Uh, Wrap yourself in the word of God so that you can be comforted by it. But you can encourage yourself in the Lord is, is, is how it's said. Encourage yourself in the Lord. We've heard that. But it's also important to encourage the Lord in others. Amen. To encourage the Lord in, in others. others. It's yes. very important. Definitely. If you can see God in somebody else, it makes it a little easier for someone to see God in you. And if you can't see God in anyone else, you should go get your eyes checked. Because as Christians, we are called to see God in others. The and to and to encourage them. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. So that they will say, what must I do to be saved? When Jesus called uh, the blind man, Bartimaeus cast away his garments, rose, and came to Jesus. But how could he come to Jesus you ask, if he was physically blind? The obvious answer is the people of the community brought Bartimaeus to Jesus. Maybe it was his disciples. The less obvious answer is that he walked by faith and not by sight. Bartimaeus stood up, threw off his cloak, threw off his begging clothes and boldly came before the king of glory. Praise God. Then Jesus asked Bartimaeus the $10 billion question. What <laughs> do you ask that I should do for you, Praise God. Bartimaeus? Praise God. A question almost identical to the question Jesus asked his disciples that Deacon Tolson read about in verse 36. The response of the disciples further supports the assertion that Bartimaeus was courageous, honorable, faithful, and a heroic brother. Even though Bartimaeus was a blind beggar, hood rat, brother on the street, community man that everyone knew, there was more to Bartimaeus than meets the eye. Amen. 
Two of the disciples, preachers, deacons, teachers, church leaders, and many prominent believers, asked Jesus for seats of honor, just like Deacon Tolson said. They want you to look up to them. They want to call the shots. They want you to sing their praises right along with the Lord. Glory seekers in the church have been known to look down their noses at people and suggest something like this. Why, you little despicable piece of humanity, how dare you question my authority while all along hiding more skeletons than some cemeteries, Deacon Tolson. Bartimaeus, on the other hand, answers Jesus with a simple request that he might receive his sight. Yes, Bartimaeus wanted to see his family, the members of the community, the faces behind the voices of children playing, the sun on the leaves of trees, the stars in the heavens, and the dew on the morning grass. Arguably, Bartimaeus wanted his sight for a much deeper reason. He wanted to see Jesus. He wanted to follow Jesus and serve him and share the good news of the Messiah with others while he had time. There's a song we sing, uh, come unto Jesus while you have time. time. Praise God. Think about it now. Old Bartimaeus, blind, but insightful enough to know that Jesus was the son of David. Think about that. Another point, whenever Jesus uh, experienced the low point, God had a way of lifting him up. Just like when we get low sometimes, the song says, lift up your head, O ye gate, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors. Amen. And what will happen, Deacon Tolson? Yes, yes, go ahead. And the king. King of glory, glory shall come in. come in. Amen. Bartimaeus wasn't just on that road begging. He knew that. Through coincidence. Praise God. I think God strategically planted him there so that he could encounter Jesus and call him the son of David. <laughs> Don't sleep. And open the hearts and minds of those around them. Yes, too. don't y'all sleep, okay. old blind Bartimaeus. Praise God. For there's more to Bartimaeus than meets the eye. Praise God. <laughs> Once blind, again, I hope... Took a blind man to wake a lot of them up. Took a blind man. Took a blind man to wake them up. Some of us, we have our, what do you call them? Our, they had uh, sight but couldn't see. We have our Dior glasses and... Uh, <laughs> And uh, what is it, uh, uh, gray poupon glasses? <laughs> but we God. can't see. That's right. That sight but can't see. We can't see. That's right, because we're blind. And some of us, uh, we have some Coca-Cola glasses. <laughs> but we have insight as to who Jesus is. Let me close it here. As you think about... Uh, Bartimaeus. One of the points I think that is important for you to take is that no matter what you're going through, God is with you if you believe. And even when you can't quite see it, it's He's important there. for you to He's there. believe it. Praise God. Even though you can't see it, it's important for you to believe it. And when you're weak, and we all get weak, 
when you are concerned about the circumstances of today, call one of your brothers and sisters from the Convent Avenue Baptist Church. Call and pray with them and share with them and talk with them, for we are a part of your faith community. And when you call us, it allows us to call on God much better than we did before. Next week's lesson is titled, Believers Praise God, which will be taken from Acts chapter 2, verses 32 through 33, and verses 37 through 47. Praise God. Stay tuned for another dynamic sermon from our pastor, Reverend Dr. Jesse T. Williams, Jr., and share the good news of Jesus with someone. Deacon Tosin, would you close us out in prayer? Praise God. Oh, gracious, merciful Father, truly, Father, we thank you, Heavenly Father, for the opportunity that you gave us, oh, Heavenly Father, to teach this lesson. We pray, oh, Heavenly Father, that the words that have been uttered, oh, Heavenly Father, will be instilled in the minds of all those that hear. I pray, oh, Heavenly Father, that others will want to know more about what was said and what can be done in their lives. Yes. Help us, our Heavenly Father, to realize that through our faith in you, yes. we can see all things That's right. and understand all things as we are guided by the power of thy Holy Spirit. Yes. Give us the wisdom, O oh Heavenly Father, Give us wisdom. that we so truly need. And Father, we pray mightily for our pastor. Yes. We pray for his family. Yes. And we pray, O oh Heavenly Father, for our church. Yes. And we pray, O oh Heavenly Father, that we will all be able to come back in. Yes. When we open the doors, O oh Heavenly Father, after this pandemic situation is completed. Yes. Give us, O oh Heavenly Father, the guidance Give us. that we so truly need. Please, God. In Jesus' name we pray and for his sake. Amen. Amen. Praise God. It's been a wonderful time expressing the lesson that we have been doing for the last few Sundays. Mm -hmm. It's been a joy realizing that we are fulfilling what Jesus had promised to his disciples when he said, go into all the world, go. teach and baptize in the name of the Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Yes. We pray, O oh Heavenly Father, that others who are also expressing their lessons through the virtual technology mm -hmm. that all have been receiving Oh, Heavenly Father, what thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord. For, for truly, Father, just little of us mm -hmm. joined many of others, mm -hmm. and we are reaching the entire world. Mm -hmm. God bless all of those who are teaching. Yes. Bless all those who are taught. Yes. And keep us, oh, Heavenly Father, mindful that we can always continue to teach the Word of God. Amen, Deacon Tilson. Amen. God bless you, brother. God bless you, Deacon Tolson. It's always a pleasure to be with you on this teaching journey. Yes, it is. It's a joy. It's a joy. God bless you.